So some of the things that uh, are coming up, the Attorney General of Ontario, Caroline Mulroney, will visit Six Nations on April 12th in the morning and in the afternoon. The Minister Seamus O'Regan, the Minister of Indigenous Services for the federal government, will also visit Six Nations. On April 13th, uh, myself and a couple of the councillors will attend the Grand River Leadership Prayer Breakfast in Fisherville. And on April 14th, uh, Mohawk Chapel will hold their Easter service. On April 17th, the Six Nations Development Corporation will be receiving the Best Managed Company Award. This is uh, being presented by Deloitte and it will be held at a gala in Toronto. So congratulations to the Development Corporation on yet another award. On April 17th, there's going to be a community information session at the Community Hall on West Nile and the Lyme disease, and we encourage everyone to please attend this information session. It's really important that we find out about uh, these diseases and what the symptoms are. April 18th, I have been invited to meet with all of the Aboriginal agencies in Toronto at the Native Canadian Centre. And from there, on the week of April 22nd to 26th, Phil Montour and I will be at the United Nations Permanent Forum on Indigenous Issues in New York City. And on the 27th, I have a minister from the government in New Zealand who wants to visit Six Nations. And on the 30th, I'll be having lunch with some of the officials from Samsung who we have partnered with in the past. May 1st will be the first responders breakfast for our paramedics, our fire, our police and our church team. And uh, May 1st and 2nd, the AFN is holding a special assembly in Edmonton to talk about some of the policies the federal government is working on and nation building. I think a couple of councillors are going to attend that, Mark Hill and possibly Audrey, Paulus Bomberry. And on May 2nd, Sal Mamakwa, who is an Indigenous uh, member of Provincial Parliament, he's with the NDP party, he's from Northern Ontario and he wants to visit our community on May 2nd. And on May 3rd, I'll be hosting a lunch here at the Burger Barn with uh, the MP from Brant, Phil McCollman, the MPP, Will Booma, and Mayor Kevin Davis from the city, and Mayor David uh, Bailey from Brant County, and as well as the Chief of New Credit, Stacey LaForm. And I've also been asked to speak at the um, annual retreat of the Nations Uniting, which is with the United Church, and it's going to be held at Five Oaks on May 3rd. Uh, the uh, Five Oaks itself is also having its annual General Assembly on May 5th. And on the same day, the Canadian Heritage Museum is going to be celebrating its 26th uh, anniversary in Brantford. I've also been invited by the President of ACON to take part in judging for a scholarship. That will take place on May 7th. In May 8th and 9th, Councillor Helen Miller and I will be attending um, a summit in uh, Niagara Falls, New York and Niagara Falls, Ontario. It's with the Northern Tribal alliance uh, um, where we come together to work on border crossing so it's a border crossing summit and may 14th and 15th councillor carl hill and i will be attending a indigenous services joint gathering with the chiefs which will be held in toronto so that's it for the next coming meetings coming up and again we've lost many people again over the last little while and i just want to say condolences to all those who may have lost loved ones in the past few weeks our thoughts and prayers are with you and again, congratulations to Brandy Anderson and Steve LaForme on getting uh, drafted into the OHL. And also congratulations to the students who won awards at the Bay Area Science and Engineering Fair at Mohawk College. This was held on April 1st and 2nd, and we will be presenting certificates to them at an upcoming General Council meeting. So that's it for uh, April. Yeah, well.